All right. Episode four. Let's go. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Listen, now, that was insane. the problem? Dude, that was insane when that happened. Let's get in and we'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. So what happens when you leave her there? It's about you folks. But I can tell you as sure as the sun's going to come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this and that girl ain't going to make it. What happens to the RV if you leave her there? Do you just leave the RV? I'll do it. Oh, she dies. We need okay. to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in yeah, Savannah. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... The fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Yeah, that's out. weird. There's like benefits and negatives to like being in a big city, right? Benefit would be there's like a ton of supplies. Now downside is there's also a ton of fucking zombies. Hey Wally, thanks for the Thanks for the reset. Can't they just hold it? 68 months. <clears throat> just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? The Can you be the silent there. protagonist be in, this, in this game Have too? To be. Have to be. Can you just it's never say anything? <laughs> Kenny knows what he's doing. The silent the playthrough? <laughs> the silent dead? <laughs> Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... Motherfucker! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. What are you talking about? You keep said quiet. That thing didn't work. There's a fucking loud ass bell that's ringing. What do you mean? Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Holy shit, dude, he's quoting lyrics it from a fucking Metallica me. song. Ah! 
Everybody, run! Damn! Chuck with the shovel? Okay. Man, I wish that shovel sound would have had the one from Resident Evil. Bonk. Oh, God. No, Kenny! Kenny! Shoot him! A little too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! Oh my God, Ben! What? God damn it! What? I, bro. Okay. Oh hell yeah, Chuck! Oh my God! Dude, Chuck is a badass. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. I'll oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh man, Shit, come on. We gotta help him. Not Chuck. There's no time. We gotta go now. How be time? Just go. Damn. Man, I like Chuck. I'll get the door. Um, I swear to God, it's always the fucking characters I like, man. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. My God, Clementine, are you okay? Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Oh, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> <laughs> She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm so on. Lee and Clementine were never hey, a part of the comics or the um the actual series. Well, I like Lee and Clementine better than like probably any character from the actual series. I didn't read the comics. Looks like something was buried here. You know who my favorite? You know who my favorite character? Uh, character? I mean, no. I mean, I like Daryl. No, I like Daryl. Wait, what? Look up. Wait, what? I like Daryl. I just didn't love him as much as everybody else did. No, I mean, I thought he was a good character. Uh, I thought he was a good character. I liked his brother, Merle. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. You know my, you know what uh, character in The Walking Dead though I thought was was one of my favorite was um, was Carol. Like something was buried here. 
Dude, Carol, Carol did not fuck around, man. Like, Carol went from... Um, Carol went from being, like, abused by her husband to fucking murdering kids and shit because they were infected, man. Dude, her character arc was insane. She was fucking awesome. <laughs> or I don't know if there were kids, but in the prison, she, like, fucking killed, killed people and fucking burned them because she knew that no one else could do it, man. She was a really, really strong character. She was one of my favorite characters. But actually, in the first season, my, my, um, my favorite character in the first season was actually Shane. <laughs> And they killed him off, of course, in the third season, but. Damn. Shane was a really good character. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know the actor's name, but I think he's a good actor. He also played Punisher. Yeah. About what happened back there on the street. I yeah. Don't, I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in. I really face, liked his character, man. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. I fucking hated um uh, the main guy's wife. I fucking hated her, dude. I was so fucking glad when she died, man. Holy shit. These windows? I and hated I her. So. What was her name? Yeah, Rick. Up. Rick's wife. Yeah, I fucking solid. hated her, dude. Yeah, Lori. Oh, Jesus. I was so fucking glad when she died. Like, Jesus Christ, get her the fuck out of here. Like all he can think she, was, she was a good actress, though. She played her character really well. Yeah, I like Michonne a lot, too. Oh, she was badass in the comics? Really? I stopped... Uh, okay, so I'll tell you guys when I stopped watching. I stopped watching when uh, Negan came into the picture. Uh, I... At that point, man, I was like, oh, okay, great. Another, I just thought it was so boring. Like, they're, like for some reason, people really liked him. And I just thought, like, this is the walking dead. Like, why are we fighting humans so much, man? Like, dude, come up with more zombie shit. Like, bro, this is, th this is the walking dead. Like, now the main bad guy is, an, is another human. Like, this is just like... This was right after the uh, the whole um, what is it the debate with the oh um, uh, it's like they went to that shelter and they were supposed to be safe and then it turned out it like it, uh, they got like trapped in the train car and then that was the end of one season and then it started the next season and the next season I think that was like five and they started in the train car and they went through this whole uh, yeah it was like terminus or something. Um, what were they called? Uh, they were called something. Um, and I didn't like how, um, I just like, I think, I think what it is, man, cause a lot of people did, did, did like Negan, but I think the thing is, and I even like the actor that plays Negan. Um, I just, I, I, I think what it was, was the timing of his character was really bad for me. And the reason, like, I feel like if they would have done a, a human enemy season and then all zombies and then Negan, I think I would have liked it a lot better. But, like, because they did it, like, back to back or whatever, man, it was like, dude... And then the like like I I I also didn't like how some of the characters died, man. Like um, like the one guy with like red hair, he was like an army guy, and also Glenn. Like Negan just automatically just kills both of them like right off the start. I think yeah, Abraham. I thought Abraham was a good character too. I feel like that. I feel like their deaths were really stupid. I feel like their deaths were extremely rushed. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I just, I think, I think, I think what it was, maybe I just got tired of the show. I think maybe. I don't know. I like Glenn's character. Yeah. But one of my favorite characters was, was, uh, Carol. She was one of my favorite characters, man. My favorite characters will typically have, uh, 
they'll have like the whitest or well not whitest but i mean i don't know how i want to explain it but they'll have like the most dramatic arc so i typically like anti-heroes um like vegeta uh like i don't know he a um who's another anti-hero um I typically like that character, but like I guess Carol was an exception because she started off as such a weak individual, but then she she was like so super strong, you know. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I like pay attention to the fucking game. Okay, so I just need to find so I just need to find something to open this fucking door. What do I have? Dude, I have a fucking shovel, man. I don't think I want to start digging up God knows what huh. until we find a way into that house first. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. Would you and Lil Zim survive a real-life zombie world? Too. I need Who to. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? I also wasn't a fan of how they killed off Herschel. I thought that was stupid. Um, I don't like... Uh, what was his name? The mayor? He was the mayor of... The oh, you know what other fucking character I hated? Oh my god. I hated her so much. She was a blonde girl. And she played in the mist. Um... What was her fucking... Oh, Andrea? Oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck off. What an annoying character. Jesus Christ, dude. Her character was so bad, man. I was so fucking glad when she died. I actually liked that movie, The Mist. <laughs> I liked the actors they had in it. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. You hated that yeah. movie? Sometimes I like shit movies even if it has like good 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 clear. actors. Like there's this like one movie called The Sphere. It's like it's like kind of boring, but I really like it cuz of the actors in it. Whatever it is, it's been here. Worse than Skylar. Oh, oh, I can't remember Skylar's character. Come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. I love that movie, The Sphere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need that collar. Oh, Skylar's in Breaking oh, Bad. Oh, you switched no. up, switched up series. Skylar. Okay. Uh, dude, I'm gonna Let's look at it first. Somewhere. I can't get it off. Oh, hey, that is not cool. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Well... Was nothing. Yes! God damn! Dude, we are so lucky we have Clementine with us, dude. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. 
Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> nope. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! <laughs> Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Yeah, but anyway... I thought the first, uh, I thought the first like three or four seasons of The Walking Dead were actually awesome. Or wait, uh, no, it was like the first four. I really don't like what they did to the governor. I really don't like how they they started. Man, that season could have been so fucking good. Like I know the governor was supposed to be a crazy ass, but the season started off so good, no, where he was like okay. down. I'm good. You know, he was at the lowest already, point, just right? Being off my feet. And then throughout the entire season, they build him up. His, they they have all this nice character development, and then at the fucking end, dude, he so, just goes back to his old ways. Like what tell a fucking what? waste of a working. season. <laughs> that there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever that was on the radio. I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. I hope Be Chuck doesn't die, but he probably will. Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. I like how he said that, like, nah, Is motherfucker, I haven't been with you through this whole zombie Thanks. apocalypse. I, I figured I'd just kind of check the doors. Back, okay. Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're going to outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. <gasps> Must have stopped working a while ago. All empty. I just felt like um my biggest issue with the season with the season with the governor is that I felt like the entire season was a waste of time. Like why would you build a character up so much just to not do anything with it? No power. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just felt like it was a huge waste of time. And then after that, I watched one I'm more not season. That hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. I 
should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Oh wait, I thought I thought we were gonna check the fucking door. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Yeah, I thought that was weird, Rick. So Rick, uh, he was no longer the main character, and then Daryl was the main Would've character. Cleared this place out, left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. How's it coming? Holding up, okay. I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Oh, Rick is gonna get his own series. It's so fucking weird to me because, like, Rick already had his series. It was literally The Walking Dead. <laughs> That's so weird to me. Not exactly my style. Nothing hiding in here. Oh, really? Rick dies in the comics? Oh, doesn't Carl die in this in the series? All clear in here. Oh, that's weird. Just one more to check. I bet there's gonna be a fucking zombie in here, dude. Jesus! <laughs> nope. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I Put some whiskey on his leg, dude. She knows who the man on her radio is. Nah, I don't know who Sebastian okay, is. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh, no. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Man, I hope nothing bad happens to Kenny. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God.
Oh. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. What a way to live. What a way to die. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. He's got to do it, man. I know that you can. He's got to do it. Help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Well, the thing is, man, if Kenny doesn't do it, right, it might happen later where there might be a choice where he won't help me. Because he can't do it. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Do you just pick him up like that? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, we're just gonna bury him, uh, bury him with the dog. Oh yeah, yeah. I know housing bids are open. When do they close? What the fuck? Hey! Hey! Who are you? 
What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! I don't know. We don't know if Chuck died. We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. You trusted Ben to look after Clementine. Holy fuck, bro. That is just another way to type disparage. <laughs> Dude, I literally trusted Ben when he literally abandoned Clementine. Ain't no way. All deaths any percent. The bald ending. I'm going to have as many characters alive as hair on my head. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. 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 Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. <sighs> What in the hell is going on? I don't 
don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Damn! Got him! Got him! Holy shit! Holy shit! Kenny the Comedian. Who? Who knew? Who knew? Excuse Holy me. fuck! Holy fuck! I don't know who he got, but he got his ass. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. This one might still be salvageable. <laughs> this boat is fucked. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should no. split up too far. XP. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. An abandoned newsstand. Are you on the field? I'm not gonna feel these nuts in your mouth. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking idiot. No. I know. Fucking moron. Think I'm what falling for that? Day. These markings, they're all over the place. <laughs> Dude, he didn't even get me. What are you talking about? He didn't even get me. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Wait, I can't go over here? Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Wind. Is this meant to be some kind of warning? Or do something like this. <laughs> Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Job of making me not want to go any further. That's a lot of bodies. Man, that's like in 300 where they piled up all those fucking corpses and like hid behind them and then ambushed them. Man, that movie was so sick. That's one of my favorite movies. I fucking love that movie. Um, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs real quick. I'm gonna take my plate upstairs. I'm gonna use the bathroom and I'm gonna BRB. So like two minutes. Woo. Oh, dude, would you guys, holy shit, man. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. <laughs> Wait, where's okay, okay. You guys done? Two minutes, by the way, two minutes. 
I had, yeah, I had to go upstairs. And then I had a butthole emergency, okay? I'm sorry. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Oh my god. Wait, we still wait, we still got money. Wait. We should still have money. From Larry. We got 60 cents. What happened to that fucking quarter? You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Ugh, oh, Dan. Oh, maybe in here. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Or should I also include come in the full? Wait, what the f what? Gas yes, siphon, tires removed, engine parts missing. Wait, hold on. Is this Zeppelin's chat now? Wait, what? What does that even mean? Do you guys spam? Is is do you guys spam shit in Zeppelin's chat? Must have been a hell of a wreck. Looks like it's still intact. Lucy Pyre's chat. No spam, hypertisk. Mm. Okay, no, she's a fucking. Ah. Okay, hey, that worked. All right, nice. Let's go. Is this Pyro's chat? Dude, Pyro doesn't have a chat anymore. His channel's dead. I'm sorry, that was mean. I'm sorry, that was mean, man. Woo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. Ah, but it was funny, though. <laughs> Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. <laughs> Holes crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. Wow, that's toxic. It. Ain't no way. Oh, no, I'm not sorry. What the? Delete what the VOD. Delete the VOD. Fate worse than death. Clip it and ship it. Maybe I'll get mad again and give me some more, some more shit to react to. Abandoned. I almost had enough to make a video on, um, on the, uh, you know, that ad, like the admin of the top, the, that like top discord or whatever, the guy that fucking messaged me about, I don't know, being ass hurt and everything, man. I almost had enough, but I feel like I only want to make a video or react if it's, if it's specifically about me, if it's about like someone else and me. Um, that's, I, I, I feel like that's over, I feel like that's overstepping. And the reason why is because I don't want to like, basically if, if I'm going to make a video, I want the majority of the focus to be, to be between me and the person, the person that I guess like no way, has an issue or whatever, you know? The top arc was 2,000 messages in Discord. I don't know, man. Apparently, I mean, I mean, look, look, okay. Uh, well, no, Spuds doesn't give a shit. She doesn't care. The Talmud Memorial Bridge. I actually asked him. Can't imagine how well, I mean, I didn't ask him, but. Across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water. To be seen. But he was like, yeah, man, he was like a fucking creep, dude. Oh, my Lord. What Look the at hell? This 
Look at this fucking guy, dude. Get down. Get down. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Oh, holy just shit. Gonna talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Damn, dude, Kenny's... Dude, Kenny is... He goes hard. <laughs> what? What the? What? Oh shit! Oh my lord! Lee? Clem? You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Here we go again, simp. Kenny, don't! Bro. No, he's with us. Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. I fucking killed them. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. 
To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. I mean, that's not entirely wrong. As bad as that sounds, that's not entirely wrong. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. All over town. I don't think so. Yeah, that would be you have a clear advantage if I your community it. is just full of young, young, healthy people versus fucking with us. kids and that elderly. Like, how is that even a question? Before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks. For Wait, I'm making political I things? Scavenge the areas what? They cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart I mean, you guys are just, I mean... Dumbasses. You just any, gotta move fast. Get in if you have a community... To wander back again. Full of look, I'm gonna ask you people again. Full of healthy people so who the hell are you? that are, are you young doing? age or you know came down here looking for a boat. You're gonna to get out that's just strictly a, yeah, a higher survivability that. rate a than a community with here, elderly so people, sick people, people. like I mean what? <laughs> like what? Cars too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back Feels to Feels bad for the boat before. plan. Great. The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a. <laughs> Yo, she's fucking gone, bro. You just gonna let her go? Hey! What do you mean, just you let her just go? Leave us here? Really? Huh? Watch. How are you gonna follow her? Please, please don't leave us. Man, Clementine's got that mind control, dude. Oh shit. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Well, Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh, shit. In the sewers. Yeah, this part's kind of cool. Oh, what were we? T oh, yeah. Like, uh, I thought about making a video for that, like that, that, like top, the the top shit, but 
Uh, I mean, it, it just doesn't really... If the person would have, like, I don't know, so. came at me directly more than I probably would have, but instead I just kind of... I just kind of... I just kind of, like, took it. Took it for what it was, you know? But hey, man. I was like... I was like, dude... If you don't stop being a creep and fucking messaging her and being a fucking weirdo, I'm just going to show all these screenshots, man. And he was like, go ahead and do it. it won't matter. I'll win by a mile. And I was like, okay. <laughs> all right. I'm calling your bluff. <laughs> I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of fucking shit. He was saying he like grew up in the hood and sold drugs and shit. Motherfucker, no, you didn't. You're a soft ass pussy. Anybody that grew up with any sort of struggle is is not as pussy as you. Like Jesus Christ, what a fucking cringe motherfucker. <laughs> That's the shit he was saying, man. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I didn't even grow up in a super bad neighborhood, right? I mean, I grew up in a poor neighborhood, but a poor neighborhood doesn't mean that it's, like, as bad as, like, some neighborhoods, you know? Like, like... Oh, I need, oh, I need a wrench. Was he a guy from my raid group? No. No. He was the guy... He used to be the... At he, oh, shit. Some kind of drainage pipe. I don't want to turn it just yet. Oh, fuck. Use the tool. Use the tool. Oh, nice. Oh, like this is where the handle would go. Oh, this is back to okay. So this is a circle. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So I mean, apparently, I guess like after after I showed those screenshots, I, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know why, but he like left. He passed off admin of the Discord and then left it. And I guess he like left like other Discords or something like that. I don't know, but I was just like... I mean, I was hoping he had something, man. I wanted to react to it. It's like, no, I'd win by a mile. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh man. Shit. What is this option? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can talk. Win what? That's the thing. I don't know. He's just a really, he's just, his mentality is just, his, he's just a, the person just has an extremely fragile ego and he's like little dick and he he he's he's all hot air. He's just all hot air. You know? He likes to talk a lot of shit, but he has nothing to back it up with. <laughs> like dude, if you can't like actually back up the shit, then just shut the fuck up, man. Oh, it's in, it's, it's, all that shit that I'm talking about is posted in the bully channel on my Discord. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? There's zombies here? Oh, no! 
bullets. You must have saved them. Not shocked, man. You deserve better, old man. Feels bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not surprised. I knew he was fucking dead, man. Hell yeah. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. No way I could pick that up on my own. Those bars are way too solid. Dude, her I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with Her this. giving me that tool was awesome. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> fucking well. Wait, you wait, you were banned cuz you accidentally uh clicked the fishing link? I mean, my Discord got, I mean, like, my, my fucking Discord got hacked. Oh, man. Can I, can I just use this to? What the hell? Oh, wait. Yeah, what's behind that shit? Oh, fuck. Yeah, man, there's like, yeah, there's bots in my Discord from time to time. Like, the Discord's actually, like, pretty, like, it's, um, it's pretty decent size. Wonder if someone's living so, unfortunately, we get bots and shit. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. I don't know. It's kind of funny though, because when the person messaged me, like, cause, uh, I had, I had, um, I had a suspicion of who they were, but when they messaged me, they were trying to be like super, super nice, and oh fuck, who are you? What the fuck? It's all right. It's okay. I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. 
You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. I... I was looking at chat. Oh, my God. I looked at chat for a brief moment. Shut the fuck up. I looked at chat for a brief moment. Shut up. I looked over. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. Uh, we. Don't want any trouble. <laughs> there's, there's always Which one motherfucker that you whenever I die, they're just like, we. Right now. Get I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes down <laughs> there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. I should have took the gun. God damn it, man. <laughs> I played too passive. Wigged. <laughs> Dude, this bar's fucking hard, man, apparently. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna right. say the same shit, dude. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. No I should <laughs> bring right. back the big do bad well wolf. Turn around and leave. Dude, on my on, on Look, the Wolf I'm of Wall Street, man, I was just straight just fucking asshole. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here, are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I mean, what oh. I say, the Wolf of No, I mean the run? Wolf. Wait, what I say? Sorry. I think what, what did I say? The Wolf of Wall Street. I mean the Wolf. The I'm wolf among us. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about two different things. Me. You were there. How was it? As bad as here. I'm sorry. I figure you if I... Him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. I figured if I try to take the gun, he'd shoot me. What do they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to I like how he took the gun. He didn't give it back. He did take it. <laughs> <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old. So Thank you, Hilaria. Worse. He's he's old. He's trying. That used to meet here he's the new. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah, irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. 
Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Oh, wow, he's Dad, a doctor. Why should we help you? Oh, my God, can you imagine? Uh, Look. Can sorry, you imagine how valuable you would be if you're, people. if you're, like, back in the medical time. profession in, like, a she apocalyptic world? Her. Holy fuck, man. Shit, what did they say? Yeah. She's probably already wondering where okay. I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Aaron, what the I was hell talking. Are you doing? Fuck. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. Clementine? Clint? Holy shit! They just got back? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. <laughs> he's gotten worse. Much worse. That's because he's got an infection. Yo, lucky we just have a doctor. Who's we this? It's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Man, his leg's infected, dude. Yeah, he's fucked. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Clementine. Clementine? Oh, wow, the upstairs. Never been the upstairs before. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Dude, Ben is such a... Wait, that's his name, right? He's such a useless fucking cunt. Clementine? Clem, you in here? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Save her! Save her! I don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. I didn't really have a choice, though, did I? I mean, I guess I could have told Ben to fuck off, but... What is this? I'll have time to rest oh. there. Doesn't look like she's in here. Find her! Strummer! Please! Uh. 
Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Clementine, you hear? Man, that sounded like this. Clem? Gills. Ain't got time for that. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Clementine? Okay, I'm just gonna go downstairs. Here. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think there's anything of value in here. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Clem? Clementine? Clementine, come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you oh, get the bottle? Up. Found it. <laughs> you wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Doesn't look like she's in here. Doesn't look like she's in here. Holy fuck, man. Clementine, where are you? Would you guys shut the fuck up? Just pull. Just pull. Clementine! Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. <sighs> whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. With no one watching Dude, her? he's such a Man, fucking useless back, fucking cunt. She better be or it's your ass. 
The first chance I get to fucking kill him, I'm going to. What a useless bitch. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. What the hell happened back here? Girl? Come look, look what I found. Yay! We found it. Oh shit, found a fucking boat. Oh, cute. Swear. Old Meat's doing okay? as well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your Damn. friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. 
Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. <laughs> okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people Holy armed. Holy giga -chan. And the perimeter's guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the... Man, I like Vernon. The supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing this something fucking than guy, you're dude. To die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? What does it even matter? Even if we he says he's night. in and he Under goes, dark, he's just gonna be a pussy anyway. Go. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I feel like I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? No! 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 Are you guys saying no to the question? Or are you guys saying no because you're mad that I paused it? <laughs> cheating! Cheating! He's cheating! Why is he cheating? Cheating! Paused it! A cute cheater. <laughs> uh...
Do you guys really want me to pull it? All right. I just figure, I just figure, okay, she's either going to one, follow me anyways, or two, Ben is going to fuck up again in some way, shape or form. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then ran, there's some random guy. Ooh, 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 Jason, tell me what you're chasing, because the night will never give you what you want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 1,000 embedded viewers. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. All right, we're taking Clem. You guys said take Clem. We're taking Clem. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm going to go get ready. Take this while you're at it. <laughs> Not leave without her. <laughs> Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Oh, shit. Nice. Yo, we get to choose our job stone? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Anna. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Oh, no, that's an easy decision. <laughs> we want the best chance. That's, a fu that's the easiest decision of my life. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Oh, what I was gonna say, um... Hold just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh, hell yeah! Warrior main, bitch! Warrior main. That's man mode again. The whole game. The whole game. We've been running man mode. This whole game. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We go in hard. Hit them by surprise. Grab what we need and get the hell out. We need to do this fast. So everybody stay sharp, stay alert, and stay close together. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Oh, um, 
Yeah, so the thought I had was uh, the guy that hurt his leg. Um, I feel like they should have... Um, Omin, I think. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Omin. They should have... Um, God what? damn it, they're you talking now. Hold on. It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay, me and Guinea will take this guy out. On my signal, the rest of you follow us over. Okay, okay, I'm just going to say this real quick before I forget. I think that before he got hurt, they should have developed his character a little bit more because I don't give a fuck about him. Like, I don't care about him. The only thing I know him as is the weird person that got excited that there was a kid around. You know? Like, that's it. Like, I don't, like, I don't really actually care about his character at all. So I feel like that if they're going to have... If they're going to have him sit out for the entire fucking... Like, the entire chapter, then they should have at least had a little bit more character development or something because I don't give a shit about him. Like, I could get on this boat and fucking leave. Like, because sometimes I forget he's even in the fucking game. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Wait, what? Don't. Fucking move. I ain't gonna tell you again. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Oh, I guess I... Wait, could I have stabbed him? You know, actually, I thought I was going to use my axe. Fuck, fuck! Does the game make you awesome. shoot? Definitely. Oh shit! God damn it! What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always. I didn't actually hear what he yeah, said. So screwed. I just guessed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? Man, no. Ben is a you do a head count? idiot. Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. How in the fuck has Ben been alive this entire time? I got a bad feeling about this. Of all the characters to, like, remain alive, why in the mother of fuck is it Ben? Wait, he can actually die? He... Wait, he can actually die, Just like, uh, early on? Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Hmm. Figures. Looks 
like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Ah, that's us. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one Oh, what? We'll You're giving him the hatchet? Here. Good luck. Wait, where the fuck is Clem? What about me? What I'm not sure. I, I might play the second one. Yeah, yeah, I might play the second one. I need one. you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. <laughs> you understand? Oh, okay. I like how I take her with me Back and she go. still is with Ben. Bro. I take her with me, and she's still with Ben. Are you fucking for real? Nothing but crayons and construction paper. The Georgia State flag. Hell yeah. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light Banger. Absolute banger. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. I don't no, nah, I don't know the third verse. No, nah, I just seen the first two. Wait, oh say anything. I don't really No, nah, I don't know the third one. Fake American. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Hmm. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. 
I fucking talking to Ben, man. Fuck him. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? She was loud. Yeah, she was pretty loud. No, loud. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Is Molly trying to set me up, man? Molly. Oh, no, I don't here? think so. Guess I'm not going that way. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck is she doing? Fence isn't an option. Too close. What the fuck? Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Oh, maybe it was like personal. Molly. What? Calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. A fucking oh, yeah. jack? That'll work.
Oh, that guy's gonna come crawling through the Take fucking. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. You know, just lower it, man. What the fuck? No power. Oh. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Whoa. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Trucking. <laughs> Dude, you guys are so stupid. Looks There's like an emote for everything, man. <laughs> you see a truck. <laughs> Where's Bam? <laughs> I can't reach it up there. Oh, can I unlock this maybe? It's locked. No way in. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. <clears throat> I did it. Whoa, whoa! Good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Well, I can't... Okay. Still attached to the terminals. What? It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. I mean, why don't you Move just your ass. do what? Why don't you just kick the jack out? Shoot it out! Oh. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! Bro. What did you call me? <laughs> a 
now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Man. Yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Dude, he can't do anything, man. He's literally just been fucking fucking around this whole time. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? couple of years he ran our support group he was really great helping me come to terms with dude ben is as useless as lester the unlikely like this. or whatever that fucking like super Crawford. nintendo game is i don't know remember that game or, or the other survivors would have done without vernon he's the one who held us together kept us alive so you're a cancer survivor like vernon and the others yeah i was diagnosed when i was in college been getting treatment ever since just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Was that from the age of the dinosaurs? Yeah. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Can, Can we, we react to something? What do you mean? This is like a, this is this is like a game and racked combo. You don't have to talk to Ben, man. Fucking Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. But what has she done for me lately? <laughs> no, dude, she's done. There is something you can. She's done with. more than Ben been on my mind. has. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know. And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault. Duck and Katja got killed. 
If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely <laughs> hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Dude. Now, where's Clem? Oh. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Can I actually climb up there? Can't reach it. Okay, it's I didn't think up. so. Shit. Oh, fuck. Crystal, oh they they're in it. there. Oh, what about that fire extinguisher? shoot the fire extinguisher. I don't want to shoot them. I don't think I can shoot the fire extinguisher. Yeah, let's just shoot zombie. Really? I can't shoot anything? Okay. Oh, shit. Gun mode. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. 
We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Not working. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination. Have you tried one 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 one? Try eight zero zero eight. Looks Try like that. Some kind of medical file. Just type it in. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Oh, is there a fucking TV in here? Oh. No tape inside. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Oh, God. Okay. By the auto shop. I guess it was like over here, yeah. yeah like... Oh, there's gotta be so many fucking zombies out here, man. What hit him? What? I don't know. Looney Tunes moment. I'll boot him. This is definitely the guy. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of car. Oh. 
But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Yo, how does he get back? No, 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 no. I want to see how he gets back. Oh, how did he get back, dude? Aetherite. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, shit. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Well, Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. What was her logic with stabbing the doctor? Because she didn't want to terminate her, her baby. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Oh, I don't, fuck, I don't want to watch it again. Fuck. Oh, can, oh damn it. Well, all right, we're watching it Have again. You made a decision? We're watching it I again. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. I didn't mean to. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Oh, I can skip? How do I skip? How do I skip? Survive to keep on living. This is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try spam again. me buttons. But now, today, we have to do this. I'll tap button. Ah! Oof. Butt stab. No. I mean, I can't move my no. mouse, though.
So we have everything we we need except for the fucking uh Oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh about that. I'm just kidding. What a fuck, dude. Are you for real? We're the zombie apocalypse and you're fucking memeing around about a, a precious item? What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Jesus! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Ah, shit! This motherfucker is the stupidest piece of fucking shit in this fucking game, man. Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Holy shit! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. oh my yeah, god! Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Finn, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, we're really gonna Kid, do this, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. There. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Can Contact I just up. shoot this it motherfucker, dude? It was all me. Oh. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was oh, me who made the deal with the oh, and the motor man. and slipping them supplies. Oh, like, them dude. When it got discovered... I don't think I've cared as little about a character. Ah, uh, here we fucking go. Now we gotta deal with this shit. Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind. You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot. Yeah. Jimmy, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Now can we go? Damn right. 
Vernon, come on! Yo, another death because of Ben. Another death because of Ben. If Ben wouldn't have fucking said all that shit, we could have got through the door. So much for the armory. Did she vote before dying? I don't think so. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh, shit. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Holy shit, a shotgun? Yo, that's the riot gun from Resident Evil 4. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Bro. Dude, this is almost a semi-automatic weapon. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, are you. I hit the button! I hit the button! And how did that zombie. Uh, how did that zombie get me so fast, bro? Oh, shit. Oh my god, this is like a semi automatic. Okay, can he. Weird. Oh, hell yeah. Bell Queen, bitch. In a release. Bell Queen. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, that was like, uh, that was, uh, that was. That was downheaval. That's in 7.0. That's 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 the kick. Instead of the uppercut, it's a it's a kick. Come on. Can you not right yell? Here. Mad bitch. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Yeah, come on, let's go! Bro. Oh no! Oh no! Can I not? Can I not save him? Thank you. Oh darn. Oh, what a horrible fate. Oh no. I tried to save him. It's that NA aim, really. It's that NA aim. You know. Krista? Everything okay? I can't be blamed. Oh, me. It's my condition. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. See, that's what Just I mean. Like, I don't, him. like, I don't care about his character, like, at all. Like, I don't care if he's dead. I don't hey. care if he's alive. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. They should have had another character be, like, I guess, get wounded. He didn't make it. What happened? 
Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours. Wait, hold on. If you save Ben, he know, really he gets Kenny killed later? Yeah. Are you serious? Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk. In no? Okay. You guys are so stupid, dude. Listen, man. I mean, that's very believable, though. I mean, I, I mean, I believed you. Save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Damn. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Yeah, nobody likes me anymore because I let Ben die. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Nah, fuck Ben. They'll get over it. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Ben will remember that. No, he won't. Because he's dead. I know. I let him die. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? 
Someplace else. Someplace better. Fam, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford, so I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you're not. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. You guys are, dude, you guys are so mean. You made her cry. And then some random fucking guy feels bald, man. Like, what does being bald have anything to do with... Clementine? Someone said earlier your head looks like a tit. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Oh, she went out to look for her parents, I bet. Gura, hyperdisc. Nah, he didn't get bit. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Oh. Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. 
Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Could I have prevented that? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Damn. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Ben sucks the disease out if you save him. Shut the fuck up. Suck this. King of comedy. No cringe. King of comedy. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh, man. Woo! Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 75% of players did not kill him. Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie? Uh, players threatened or lied to him. Home Alone. Did you bring Clementine with you? Okay. For whom the bell tolls. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 47% of players let him go. 53% of players saved him? Saved his dumb ass? Did you reveal your bite to the group? Who came with you? Wow. Okay. Oh, does that mean... Wait a minute. Does that mean that Kenny can be dead? Oh, God. Look at the 10%. That means that it's just you and Ben? If you side against Kenny throughout the story, he won't go with you. Okay. The Ben ending? Oh, God. That's like the Todd ending.
Well, how do you get just Kenny and uh, just just Kenny? You hide the bite. Oh, all right. Yeah, we doing the last one. <laughs> 